Hey guys, I'm Nick, but you probably know me as the one and only Nick's Games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Tinker's Construct in Minecraft 1.7.10. Yes, you heard me right. This is a 1.7.10 mod. It's not updated for 1.8. Don't know if it will, but it's an amazing mod that I would recommend you start modded Minecraft with. It's my favorite mod ever when it comes to modded Minecraft, and it's a great way to dive into modded Minecraft and some of the awesomeness stuff that it has with Tinker's Construct. Tinker's Construct allows you to make tools that are pretty much anything in Minecraft. It's really cool. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, what we want to do is go to Minecraft for Nintendo Forces. It doesn't matter. First link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It will take you to this page where you want to click on download here, but we're actually going to right click and open it in a new tab because we need to click download here and download here. So we will click that as well and it will automatically download it. As you can see right there we can keep and right there we can keep. And we have now downloaded Mantle and T Construct. Awesome. Close out of both of those. But we're not done yet. We still need to download Forge. To do that, you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net or the second link in the description down below. Go down there, click that. It takes you to this page where we want to find 1.7.10 right here. Dash recommended and scroll all the way over until we see installer right there. Click that. It will take us off to AdFly where we have to wait five seconds. In these five seconds, I'm going to say this. If you have any issues with AdFly, simply right click and reload and then you'll be good to go. Hopefully, if that doesn't work for you, you need to Google how to enable cookies on whatever browser you have. Go to those tutorials here, there. Come back to this tutorial and AdFly should work. If it doesn't, sorry, there's nothing else I can do for you. AdFly is required so you can make so all these mod creators can make a little bit of money back for all the work they put into their mods. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click skip add. It will then automatically download Forge right down here. And now, if we minimize our browser, we have three mods here on our desktop. First is Forge, and then Tinker's Construct, and then Mantle. Mantle is required to run Tinker's Construct. If these mods aren't on your desktop, at the Windows key or keyboard and are at the exact same time. Type in Downloads, hit Enter, and they will be right here in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, once they're on your desktop, you want to right-click on Forge. You want to open with Java TM Platform SE Binary. You want to click Install Client, click OK. It'll go through, install some things, do some stuff. Woohoo! Forge successfully installed. OK, that's what we want. If it doesn't successfully install, go run Minecraft 1.7.10 with no mods installed, nothing else. Just set it up in the Minecraft launcher, play it, come close out of it, come back, and it will work. So now we can go ahead and delete the Forge file we downloaded. And now let's install these two mods. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in percent %appdata percent, hit Enter. It will take us here. We then want to go into dot Minecraft, and then we want to go into our mods folder. But Nick, we don't have a mods folder. What do we do? Well, very simply, click over here in the right place. Right click that is, and then create a new folder. Title it MODS, all lowercase, exactly like that, and you're good to go. Now you've got a mods folder. Make sure you copy it exactly there, all lowercase. If you don't, it will not work. And you now want to go ahead and open your newly created mods folder and drag T Construct and Mantle into it. Now, guess what? We need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and get Minecraft up and running. I mean, it's pretty much installed at this point. Not pretty much, it is installed at this point. We are good to go. What we want to do is come over here and click on Nick's Games, hit Edit Profile, and then we want to go to Use Version right here. Release 1.7.10, Forge is what mine says, so we're good to go. Yours will probably say Use Latest Version, 1.8.3, something like that. Just click on this box, it'll drop down, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll see Release 1.7.10-Forge. Click that, say Profile, Play. It will now go through, download some stuff, do some things, and set up Minecraft 1.7.10 with Tinker's Construct installed and ready to go. I'll prove that to you guys by checking the mods folder once we get on the uh, on the Minecraft main menu, as well as going into single player and uh, maybe setting up a quick foundry. No, I'm not going to do that, but I will show you that it is installed. So mods and mantle Tinker's Construct, perfection. We can now go into creative testing here, and I will uh, set up a quick... You know, Tinker's Construct thing. We have a crash. We ha I will show you exactly why we had that crash. I know why we had that crash. If we have a crash, I always fix it on stream or not stream, but in video for you guys. What I just did right there was switch back to 183 Minecraft, normal 1.8.3 Minecraft. That was a render distance crash. So if we come in here, click on options, go into video settings, we'll go down to 16, which is what the max render distance is in 1.7.10. Click done, done, quit game, open up the Minecraft launcher again, and then set that up, we will be able to play. So if you guys have a crash like that, it's because your render distance is too high in 1.8, and that's why it is crashing. So we can now go into Nick's games here. I scroll all the way back down, click on that correct profile, and click play. We might have a block error issue as well. 
that would be because this world that I'm joining has been created in 1.8, and for that reason, 1.7.10 isn't compatible. So that could also be an error there. We'll try it here and see what works. So single player, creative testing, and if it crashes again, it is a block error issue. No, we are good to go. However, any uh, andesite and things like that will not be showing up now because of uh, it's opened in 1.7.10. However, we can hit E here, type in tinkers, and right here we've got some Tinker's Construct stuff or T-Con. T-Con, no, that's not going to work. Well, we can get, uh, what is it, seared bricks here. And this is what we would, for example, make our foundry out of, or not foundry, our smeltery out of. And we could do like one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you could do one, two, three. And then you could set up, I always like to go one higher. I don't think it's required to go one higher. Maybe it is, I don't know. But... We can go one higher here, and then we can go over here and go to sear it again. We're going to need this, and we're going to need, uh, where is it at? I don't see it. We're going to need a spigot. We're also going to need a drain. All right, there. And we're going to need, I think it's a controller, maybe? Yes, this, a smeltery controller. And so we can place this down. We can place this down, and we can place this down and place that right there and boom wait for it we're not done yet boom boom and then a faucet on that and we are good to go guys there you go that is now how you can uh, set up a smeltery this is fully functioning minus the fact that you need to put blocks in the bottom and expand it one more wide <laughs> so let's do that and then boom I know I said I wasn't going to do this because it would take too much time, but oh well, no big deal. People have probably already clicked off if they uh, don't want to know how to do this. But there's your little tutorial on creating smeltery. As you can see, it automatically starts working there, and uh, that's actually a wrong thing. That's not what we're looking for, I don't believe. Unless they changed it in 1710 where you can click on everything. No, so this is actually the wrong block there. We do need a drain, though. I thought we had one. Oh, we do. I just put it down wrong, I think. Yeah, there we go. There's the smeltery drain with a faucet on it. And uh, boom, we are good to go now. The smeltery is up and running. We could put, for example, iron in this, and uh, it would uh, smelt it. So if we get some iron, uh, iron block there, put that in there, boom. As you can see, it should start smelting it if we have some lava. So much stuff, right? So much stuff involved in doing this. So now you want to take lava, right-click there, and now it will start smelting that. So there you guys have it. That's how you can set up a quick smeltery in Tinker's Construct, as you can see. And there is the uh, block that we just put in. It is smelting that. And when it smelts, it will actually disappear, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, guys, that's how you can do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tinker's Construct is an amazing mod to get started in Minecraft. And you're looking to get started in modding Minecraft, this is the mod for you to do it with. Do it right now. It's awesome. I love this mod. It's in every mod pack that exists. I promise you that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And there's some videos you guys might want to go check out. Down that way, we've got my Tastic Episode 30. That's an awesome modded Minecraft Let's Play series where I play, uh, well, the FTB Unleashed Mod Pack, which has Tinker's Construct in it. You guessed it. So that means if you want to see me play a mod pack with Tinker's Construct in it, go check out that video. And down the other way, we've got custom NPCs and how to install them in Minecraft 1.8. Do you want to get another awesome mod? Well, that's uh, custom NPCs for you, and it's in Minecraft 1.8. Go check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.